What's up beautiful people? Welcome or welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a collective reading for anybody and everybody who decides to click on this video. Let's take a deep breath together. Inhale. And exhale. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to just share with you the channel message that I just got maybe about 20-30 minutes ago. And we're just gonna go into it. I will pull cards after I get the channel message out, but I'm gonna break down some of the messages that I got with you. Keep in mind that this reading may not resonate with you, so only take what fits and leave the rest for someone else. Don't force anything to fit, okay? First message I was getting is you will get better, one day at a time. Some of you may need to tell yourself this. Close your eyes. I will get better, one day at a time. You can open your eyes again. Uh, but you will get better one day at a time. If someone has a problem with your lifestyle, your position, and or how much money you make, they can take it up with God. That's not a you problem, that's a them problem. And then I also write, I also wrote, everyone wants a healing elixir or a quick fix. Spirit said, make your own. No one knows what you need more than you do. And then I wrote down the number 1221 and I got this message at 1221 that this is a difficult time for some relationships. So you could be seeing 1221 or this message could apply to you even if you're not seeing 1221. This is a difficult time for some relationships because some of you are mirroring your person and they can't handle their own reflection. So I'm getting that some of you are not intentionally mirroring your person. I think it's just what's going on right now. Your person is seeing some sort of um, part of themselves that they don't like in you. And that is scaring them. That is triggering them. Okay. That's what I'm seeing. So some of you may have just recently split from somebody or there may be talks about this and you're like, what did I do? What am I doing? What's wrong? And you may be scared. You're reflecting back to them parts of themselves that they don't like. Again, that's not a you problem, but Spirit said, be patient with them and yourself. Give them space if they need it. It's best for both of you. And it's best for you to not freak out if this is happening to you. Because if you freak out, it'll lead to them freaking out if you're mirroring each other like that, right? So give them time, give them space. Um, this person doesn't feel like the type to cheat, so that's not going to happen, even though the two of you might be broken up. It could still feel like they're cheating on you if they were to get with somebody else. I don't feel that that's going to happen. I do see them kind of drowning themselves in their sorrows. So somebody may be drinking a lot or may start drinking a little bit more than usual just to try to like numb the feeling. Um, but they are going to come to an understanding that this is really a part of them that they've been ashamed of, that they've been neglecting, that they don't wanna ever look at. And you can't do that, right? you can run but you can't hide kind of an energy and so now that they're seeing that part of themselves in you that was the scary part and i think they're going to make that realization come to an understanding at some point okay so yeah give them space and time if they need it for others of you though on the flip side of this coin the 1221 energy for others of you this could be a really great time for relationships if you're currently in one um, especially those of you who just started them because I'm getting something about like the honeymoon stage or the cupcake stage could be a really good time for that type of a relationship. Um, also, I've been getting a lot of like new relationships forming in the next three to six weeks. I've been seeing that a lot in the recent readings I've been doing. Oh, I'm hearing don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. If you made it this far and you like my content, hit the like button and subscribe, please and thank you. Thank you, Spirit, for reminding me to tell them. But yeah, it could be a really good time for some of you to get into a new relationship in the next three to six weeks, or it could be a really good time for some of you who are currently in like the beginning stages of a relationship because you're mirroring back all of the good parts of yourself and also they're mirroring the good parts of themselves to you. So it's a lot of like good parts of each other that you're mirroring to each other. And so that's really fun, right? It's kind of giving like dog energy, golden retriever energy. Like it's just, it could be a really good time to have fun with your current partner or to get into a new fun, exciting relationship. That is what I'm seeing. But for some of you, try not to um, look too much into the future with it right now, because if it is a mirroring situation, it may just be something temporary. It may not be like a long-term mirroring act, if that makes sense, because at some point, you're going to start mirroring the parts that you don't like about each other to each other. And if this is somebody that you can handle that with, 
cool. But if this isn't somebody that you want to go through that with, well then you know what to do. I'm just hearing that for somebody, okay? And then the next page is a little bit different than the topics we've been discussing, but I wrote down that for some of you, there is a group of people who are doing some sort of spell work and a lot of you already know this. Some of these people are trying to do some mirror magic tricks, which could be why this mirroring act is happening between you and your person because somebody is doing spell work to create some sort of like mirroring between you and your person because they know that it will trigger them to walk away to leave and it will trigger you to chase them which will help to push that relationship even further away right because what we chase runs away from us um very specific messages coming through today some of them could also be doing some sort of mirror magic tricks to try to get you to like not like the way that you look in the mirror they may be doing some some sort of spell work to get you to like think that you look bigger than you do. I'm getting like body dysmorphia. I'm also getting something about um, looking in the mirror and like not liking your skin or looking in the mirror and not liking your face, not feeling pretty, not feeling beautiful, handsome, etc. There could be something about mirror magic going on. Okay. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. I'm also getting something about wearing sunglasses, wearing hats, wearing like big baggy comfortable clothing could help you to feel more protected if you feel like you need that. But no weapon formed against you shall prosper. And no one has free will in your reality. These people don't actually have any power to manifest or to do any sort of magic or spell work in your reality. They were counting on the fact that you would never be aware of this. And they were counting on the fact that if you did find out about it, you would be afraid because fear is something that they thrive on. Right. But now that you know, now that you're aware, for most of you, they can't do anything to you. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And no one has free will in your reality. You're the creator. Mm -hmm. furthermore i wrote down that karma is real and the devil and these demons who they are making deals with for this spell work are going to come collect on them at some point once the deal is done they don't give away shit for free right and then i also said that i really hope that these people are okay with accepting the fate that they're trying to cast on others i hope that they are okay with accepting the fate that they are trying to cast on others because essentially that's what you're saying essentially that's what you're agreeing to if you're trying to like destroy someone else's life or cast awful things onto somebody else you're basically telling the universe that you're okay with that if that were to happen to you and if you're doing some sort of mirror magic mirrors are a reflection which means whatever you're casting onto somebody will also be cast back onto you the universe will give you what you have given the universe will give back what you have given. And a lot of people who have been doing the spell work, maybe we're unaware. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt. But once it comes back on them, they'll be aware. And some of them are realizing like right now. When I was getting that message, I actually saw somebody have the realization that like, oh my God, this is all going to come back on me. Like, oh my God, what I'm doing is terrible. And then they immediately dropped what they were doing. So there could be some sort of ringleader I'm hearing who has some people in like a spell of their own to do their spell work for them. I don't know, this group may have like a leader. My ear has been ringing a lot lately too. So some of you, you may be getting some sort of like ear ringing. There's a lot of people talking about you or there's a lot of people just using your name in general. I've been feeling that. But I'm hearing something about like chewing their words whatever that phrase is, you know what I mean? Where they, um, oh, I don't know how to explain that, but the phrase where it's like, oh, these people are eating their words, eating their words, right? Which means like the things that they've been trying to say about you and cast onto you were never real, were never true. And it's all happening to them instead. Yeah, that's the energy that I've been, I've been picking up today. I also wrote down attention whores and I don't call people those words. I don't call anybody that word but spirits that i had to say it just like that so some of you have some people around you who are so desperate for attention and validation that they'll do anything to try to dim everyone else's light around them but they can't do that with you and that infuriated them and spirit said past tense infuriated which means these people are no longer in your life that's what i was getting so it feels like you infuriated people in the past and they're holding on to this 
for some reason because you can't your light can't be dimmed because you just naturally attract attention and you just naturally get validation from the universe you aren't chasing anything you don't need attention or validation and then i wrote down that your self-love is triggering people for sure for some of you right now your self-love and your ability to love yourself is triggering some people because that means that they have to do the inner work too but they really 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 don't want to or at least that's what they think they think that they don't want to face these dark parts of themselves they think that they don't want to do the inner work why because the ego is scared and projecting but the higher self knows that going through the shadows and the darkness gets you to a place of self-love and balance in your life and a lot of you know that and a lot of these people are waking up to it I wrote down that it's wild to me that these people still try us constantly when we've been doing the inner work. We've been the ones in the arena of life, in the trenches, doing the inner work. And that's why we have the ability to love ourselves now. And that's why we have the connection with Source that we do. And that's why we get the validation and the attention that we do. Because we've done the inner work. Because we've addressed parts of the shadow. So it's just wild to me that these people constantly try us, but... It is what it is. It's just how life works, I guess. And then lastly, I wrote that some people always got to be right. But there's no point. We all die anyway. And I was like, Spirit, that was really morbid. Do you really want to just end the channel message like that? And they were like, yeah. Because I guess that's just real. They said we're keeping it real today. So there's no point in trying to be right. But some people always have to be right. Let them live in their fantasy world is what I'm hearing. I'm also getting something about crystals. Maybe you work with crystals or you want to get a crystal. I'm getting something about selenite or black obsidian or both or black tourmaline. Okay. Yeah. These are good crystals for like cleansing the energy, cleansing your space, purifying, removing negative energies. You can keep them on you. You can keep them in like a room of your home, in your office, wherever you want whatever you feel called to but selenite black obsidian black tourmaline one or all three of those would be really good for you right now maybe you already have it and you're it's time to break it out start using it again start carrying it on you maybe get a necklace a bracelet a ring some of you were asking for a crystal recommendation i could just hear that in the ethers all right let's start the card reading now and find out what else it is that you guys need to hear I'm going to try to make this short because I don't want to talk a lot. I don't feel like talking a lot. The number eight could be significant. You could be born in August or on the eighth or be seeing a lot of eights right now. This card says you heal by releasing, not suppressing. Some of you have been crying. Some of you have been feeling like sad. And I need to remind you that you're just purging the old version of you. You're just purging out all of the old parts of you that your soul, your body you no longer need you heal by releasing not suppressing which also makes sense with the channel messages because your ability to heal yourself is actually what triggers other people and you healing yourself by and actually going through it triggers other people to do the same because if they're around you constantly and they're seeing that like your life is getting better and you're loving yourself and all of these things then it's going to trigger them and they're either going to become jealous and bitter and angry and project, or they're going to see like, oh, maybe I can do that too. Maybe that's what I need to do for myself too. So some of you are really inspiring, or you're going to be very inspiring, especially after this healing journey. And also for some of you who are in separation from your person because of the mirroring thing, if that really resonated, this is again further confirmation to give them space and time to heal. And also give yourself space and time to heal. Go do things that you like to do when you're alone. Get some sort of amusement is what I'm hearing. Have fun in the separation. Have fun on the break. Because you don't need another person to make you happy. You don't need the relationship for you to feel whole. And you also don't need to be in a relationship to prove anything to anybody. No. Yeah. I'm hearing that. Some of you may be worried about other people's views on your relationship or the separation. They have their own problems at home. If they're really that worried about you, they probably have their own stuff at home to be worrying about. You know what I mean? 
take your space and your time and let the other person take their space and their time as well. That's the energy I was channeling. Like it feels like that person just needs space and time to come to the conclusion that they need to do some inner work. And you're triggering that within them, which is actually very admirable and inspiring, I think. And I think that your person's going to see it that way in the future too, after they go through some time of healing and get to that realization that it's actually a them thing and not a you thing and that you're just helping them progress. Okay? And then we're seeing the number nine right after it. These cards have been shuffled plenty of times, so... The nine coming right after the eight is very significant. You will get better one step at a time. You're always making progress. Even if it doesn't seem like it, you're always making progress. I think that's important right now that you know that, that every single day that you wake up, be grateful. I've been doing this thing lately where every morning I wake up, I'm like, thank you so much for putting me on the wake up team because I woke up this morning. And I think that's been really making a difference for me, honestly. I think that's been helping me. It's helping me to glow. It's helping me to feel better. It's helping me to connect with myself deeper. Just this feeling of gratitude and like, gratitude in general is helping me for sure. So some of you, gratitude could help you as well. Find small things to be grateful for. Excuse me. Find small things to be grateful for. I know it's hard when we're in a lack mindset or when we're struggling or when the circumstances are tough. I get that, I've been there too, but Gratitude is such a powerful energy and gratitude could get you out of the struggle, for real. It's about finding what you already have to be grateful for and then the universe will bring you more because you're in an energy of gratitude. But if you're in an energy of lack, then the universe is only going to be able to continue to bring you more lack, you know? Anyway, the number nine could be significant. So you could be born in September, born on the ninth or be seeing a lot of nines. I'm also seeing 36 right now. This card says, express yourself creatively. Start something new. Yeah, I feel like that's a really good time for some of you to be starting something new. If you're scared about starting something new, this is, don't worry about it. <laughs> Nothing to be afraid of. I feel like some of you have something going right now and you feel like you need to see that through to get the payoff. But Spirit is saying, no, you can take a little break from that. That's not going anywhere. Start this new thing. We have this new thing for you. It's going to inspire you. It's going to open you up creatively. That's what I'm seeing. And for some of you, it's about going into business for yourself or making your own creations. Specifically, I'm getting something about some of you are creators, maybe online, um, maybe with videos, with photos. I'm also getting something about like animation. You could be an animator. There's something about creating your own now. That would be really good for you or that would be a really great creative outlet for you. Maybe you don't sell it. Maybe it's not, maybe the intention isn't to show it to a bunch of people and to make money off of it. Although maybe you could because you're very talented. What I'm getting is it's more of an uh, expression of yourself and how you're feeling. And it actually helps you feel better because you're pouring so much time and energy into this creation and you're pulling from within and then releasing. I think that that could be a really um, fun way for some of you to release emotion, especially if you've been feeling some type of way, you know what I mean? I think that you could start making your own videos or start making your own animations or start making your own stories, start making your own things. You know what I mean? I think that could be really good for you right now. And that's kind of what Spirit is urging some of you to do. But yeah, express yourself creatively. Start something new right now. Try something new. Go in a new direction. Don't be afraid of it. I feel like the other path is still going to be there for you. But there's something here about like taking a new a new path or a new look at something. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. We're seeing the Knight of Wands, which is further confirming that. Right now the universe wants you to kind of play. It feels like there's like a play energy, whatever that means to you. Flirt with life and life will flirt back with you. Some of you, I'm getting something specifically about like going on a little day trip or going to a spa or going to an amusement park. Different things like that. They're just giving me some examples, but you'll know what works best for you. It's just something about going and having fun and playing with the world, playing with life right now is kind of what I feel like we're all being guided to do, okay? Knight of Wands also talks about travel. So some of you may be traveling soon or there may be talks about travel. I'm also getting something about like spiritually you're traveling. Some of you may astral project 
or you may be very active in the astral realm. I'm getting something about like a traveler. Oh, I'm getting something about time travel. Some of you are time traveling in your dreams, in your sleep, okay? Yeah, I'm getting something about going back to the past, your, your past. You don't have access to anybody else's past is what I'm getting, but you have access to yours. And you have access to who you once were, the things you did, places you've gone, etc. And you can actually go back to these places in your mind and rewrite the story. And that will actually help you in the present. So some of you may be doing that right now, or some of you are going to learn how to do that. That's really cool. Yeah, you have this ability to like time travel in your sleep or time travel in meditation even. I just feel like you have this ability to time travel back to your past. You may even have the ability to time travel into the future too. I don't know, but I'm getting something specifically about like going back to the past in your mind and rewriting the story, telling yourself a different story, being there for yourself in a way that you weren't there for yourself when you were that age or when that thing happened. You're taking all of the information that you know now and the person that you are now and like going back in your mind or in your sleep to heal yourself. That's so cool. Hopefully that's resonating. Let me know if that's resonating. That's so cool. Okay, tell me anything else. Anything else that they need to know? We only have three cards. I don't even feel like pulling any more cards, to be honest, because I don't think that you need too much right now. I'm getting something about less is more. And then we pulled one more card. So I'll talk about this in a second, but less is more. I'm also getting something about like, earlier today, Spirit was talking to me about how um, my skincare routine is really great. And they're really proud about proud of me with my skincare routine. Um, and I, I learned a couple years ago to start using less because you don't actually need a bunch of product. Maybe half of what some of you are actually using that will spread across your face and that will actually absorb into the skin. You don't need big globs of product. Even with makeup too, less is more for some of, for some people. Now I love a good full glam and like full coverage. I'm talking about this for some people, but I know that not everyone's gonna resonate with what I'm talking about right now. I'm totally, I love a full glam. I love full coverage, love a lot of makeup. Used to paint myself when I first got into makeup in 2018, but over the years, I've just started using less and less and less. And you can still achieve like a really beautiful look with less makeup. Although every once in a while, I do love going out there with a good full glam, full coverage concealer, full coverage everything. I want to get into that again, actually. I do feel like the 2016 glam is going to make a comeback this year of 2024. I feel like we're going to start seeing more people with like the highlight, the contour, the full coverage the glam eyes. I feel like we're going to see more of that again in 2024. It's just a prediction I'm throwing out there because I've been picking up on that lately and I've been re-inspired with makeup. So some of you, this could be something for you to do for yourself too, to like express yourself creatively, like get into makeup, get into art, something like that. Especially if you've been wanting to. I'm not pushing you or forcing you, obviously, but this could be beneficial for you and therapeutic as well. And a fun way for you to create, a fun way for you to create and express yourself creatively. Okay. Back to the reading, Queen of Pentacles, less is more, less is more. The less you know, the better, especially if you're in separation with somebody, the less you know, the better, because right now the universe is asking you to not freak out. Your guides are asking you to not freak out. You will get better, okay? One day at a time. Also, the Queen of Pentacles here is beautiful for entrepreneurship and independence because the Queen of Pentacles knows their worth, regardless of your gender. The Queen of Pentacles comes to a very like solid grounded energy within themselves and then is able to be that for everybody else. So I feel like right now it's about you being the center for yourself and you grounding yourself. That's very important for you. And I'm also getting that some of you, you're being guided to go into business for yourself or to like create your own animations, to create your own videos, those things like, like we talked about because it feels like it's going to be successful. And I also feel like it's going to get your mind off of the past as the past is leaving your life, if that makes sense. Because I really do feel like we're in this cocoon phase of the transformation from caterpillar to butterfly or from whatever you once were to whatever you want to be. We're in this cocoon phase. 
and the cocoon phase is hard. The co the cocoon phase, like, it hurts. It does, but we don't have to always be in that energy. You know what I mean? You deserve to have fun too. You deserve a good life too. You deserve some amusement and some action and some fun and play in your life too. So do that or somehow the universe is going to be bringing that into your life anyway. Hopefully this reading helped you. Sending you love always. Take care of yourself. Stay hydrated and I will see you next time. Bye.